Hey Gabe, uh, this is a response to your video, God and Free Will. Um, I just have a few points I wanted to make. Um, I'm glad that you stated your case um, as a philosophical agnostic. Uh, I respect I respect your view, but um, I wanted to make a few points on uh, on what you said. You said that you don't really see how free will and God fit together. How God could know the future, know everything, and you still have freedom to choose things. You did say that there was a possibility that God only knew the present and past, but like you said, uh, that would demean the power of God, or that he knows nothing and chooses not to interfere. Well, depending on the God you're talking about, if you're talking about the God of Christianity, or the, or the God of, or the Jewish God, or, uh, or even the Islamic God, uh, I, I, that God is all-knowing. At least as, as far as I know with Islam, I'm a Christian, so uh, my God is all-knowing. Um, he knows past, present, and future. See, the way that free will works with God is that God wrote the beginning of the book and the end of the book and knows everything that's going to happen throughout the book, but he did not write it. Do you see what I'm saying? God does not pick your decision for you. You decide what you're going to do. The fact that he knows what you're going to do does not make that any less your decision. You see what I'm saying? I'll, I'll illustrate this for you. Say, um, I know you. I know you 100%. I know every aspect of you. I know exactly how you work and how you think. And you and me are standing in a room with three doors. And I know, because I know you, which door you're going to go through. Say there's a door on the left, door on the right, door in the middle. And I know for a fact that you're going to go through that middle door because I know how you work. Now, just because I know what door you're going to go through, and there's nothing you can do to change it because I know for a fact that is the door you are going to go through, you still choose to go through that door. It is still your choice to go through it. Do you see what I'm saying? You have free will to choose. God just knows what that choice is. Do you see how that, how that kind of works? Now, um... That, that is how I see God and free will kind of working together uh, in, our, in our reality. Now, another point that you made in your video was that you believed that the universe wa uh, started an infinite amount of time ago and will go on to infinity. Now, I, I am not going to be the first person to say that going on to infinity has its own problems because modern science today tells us that the universe will have an end. Uh, at some point, it's going to end. Um, it's just the way, the, that's just the nature of chaos. Uh, the universe, uh, the second law of thermodynamics says everything is going from organization to chaos. So, you know, things are going to get more and more chaotic until, boom, universe over. So, likewise, the universe could not have been infinitely old. And uh, I can explain this really, really simply. Say I'm going to give you a donut after an infinite amount of time. I will never give you that donut because an infinite amount of time will never pass. If the universe started infinity ago, we will never reach right now. Right now will never come because there will always have had to have been an infinite amount of time beforehand. Just like you cannot run the length of an infinite football field, nor so can time run an infinite course to any point. As far as, as, far as I know, um, that that is how the that's how infinity works. So there's uh, there's my arguments for you, and uh, I hope you like my video. If you have anything else you'd like to say, post a response, send me some comments. Uh, all right, peace.